we've been experimenting with a combination of Sudex and red clover planted after a cash crop. Uh, the Sudex will winter kill and then the red clover will come back through uh, in the spring and remain through the next season. The Sudex was put in after cash crop the middle of August. Uh, the seeding rate is um, three pounds of Sudex to two pounds of red clover per bed. Sudex gives us a lot of biomass and then the red clover gives us the nitrogen. And red clover is something that we can leave in throughout the next year. We do not have to till it down and put it into a crop that will winter kill because a couple times of mowing and by the following spring, there's not so much left. It goes down very easy. After the Sudex is winter killed, this is what the field will look like. The Sudex was left in place. The red clover has been mowed four times through the season will be left here until spring when it will be spaded down and put into a cash crop. The timing of the planting of Sudex is very important. This Sudex was planted in the middle of August when it was still quite warm. This bed of Sudex was planted two weeks later when it had started to cool off, so it's obvious there's going to be a substantial difference in the biomass created by the Sudex. Uh, this section is an example of needing to respond to uh, something that didn't work correctly. It was seeded into Sudex and red clover last year, but this spring the red clover didn't come through very well. So in order to um, reduce our weed problem, we spaded the clover in and planted it into straight Sudex at the end of May. We got a great stand of Sudex, and this has been mowed three times. Um, has created a very good weed suppressive situation. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.